Do you care about your personal image more than your spiritual life? I guess some people, before they go out in public, they may bathe, place on makeup, comb their hair, dress really well. You know, make sure that everything is in its proper place. Right? Like at work, you may work very hard and try to show yourself as a very productive person or like a very trustworthy person at work trying to exceed, succeed or whatever else. Maybe you try to maintain a good reputation among people. Maybe you are the type who cares so much about your personal image. But what about your spiritual life? Are you placing so much emphasis on your spiritual life as you are with your personal image? Are you? Are you really, what word can I use? Are you really focusing so hard on your spiritual life? Okay, what good is your personal image alone if you are on your way to hell, if you are on your way to hell, what good is your personal image alone? Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? Yes, personal image is good. I believe we should... Um, carry ourselves in a certain way, okay. But if that is the only thing you focus on pertaining to, if you only focus on that and not on your spiritual life, what is the point? Okay, let's say you have a very good reputation on this earth. Let's say you have one million friends. Let's say people bow down to you when you walk past. What good is that when you die? What good is your personal image alone if you die? Aren't we living for the next life? Let me ask you this. Would you focus, for an example, would you focus hours on mud and little on your vehicle's engine? Or maybe should I say, would you focus more on mud and less on a wound that is very serious? I believe you would focus more on the wound. Why? Because, hey, that is more important because probably if you don't get that taken care of, it may get worse, right? Okay. Shouldn't you be more concerned 
about your spiritual life than your personal image because what good is your personal image if you die and go to hell? You can fix up your hair and do this and do that, but make the first things first. If you believe in Jesus Christ, and if you live by his rules, <laughs> you may not be that popular. People may look at you in a very bad way. People may call you a Bible thumper. <laughs> they may call you, <laughs> what else? <laughs> hypocrite and whatever else, judgmental, they may call you those things. So I guess your personal image may be a bit tarnished. But be more concerned about your spiritual life. Myself. I am more concerned about my spiritual life because, hey, I believe if I go to heaven or hell, I think I am going to be there longer than longer than my time on this earth, right? So if I am going to be on this earth for a short time, maybe not even 100 years, hey, perhaps I should focus more on what is important because if I go to hell, I may be in hell for more than 100 years. If I go to heaven, I believe I will be there more than 100 years, right? So why are you focusing on mud? Why? Like, what use is focusing on the temporary? Let me focus on long-term stuff. Hey, I plan on going to heaven, so let me set up my life to where I can get there. Let me not only think for the now and the fun and the pleasure and stuff like that. Let me think about the future. Some people may be very concerned about stocks and bonds and buying gold and silver and all that stuff there. What is that going to do for you if you go to hell? Which I am not saying not to look into it, but I think some people place so much of their focus. I'm sorry for laughing. Sorry for laughing. But um, I think some people, God, please forgive me. I believe some people place so much emphasis on their earthly life and so less or nothing on their spiritual life when it comes down to God. So I pray this makes sense to you. Let me stop here. God bless you.